Well, good morning, everybody. We're supposed to be getting more snow, but today it's 50 degrees and the sun's shining, and I just feel like panning a little bit of dirt. So we're gonna take a really good yummy rock. We're gonna take a look at it. We'll crush it into a bucket, pan it down and see what we get. So, all right, did a little bit of maintenance on the crusher. Look at those gorgeous new chains. And we're gonna crush us up a yummy rock, pan it down and see what we get. All right, here's a couple of rocks I got on the porch. Look at that one, it's all marbled on the top and that sucker's, that's a big rock. Look at that, that's, that's a really big one. But look at this one here, it's got some good vugginess in it. It's got some marbled pieces. That's, that's looking pretty good. Which of these should we crush up? We'll go in the house, I got a couple others in there. Let's take a look at them. All right, here's, a, here's another one I grabbed from inside. Look at that, it's got some good veins in it. A little bit of vugginess. It looks pretty marbled. That one might be a decent candidate. What else do we have here that we can crush up? Okay, so I've decided on a rock, and this is the one we're going to crush up. Let's take a really good look at it. Look at that. It is all marbled, and this really has two good things going for it. It has a good quantity of quartz in it, and it's, it's pretty darn marbled in there. And the second thing is, it's really heavy, so we're just gonna do one little rock and we'll crush it down and we'll pan it out. Now, obviously the rock is way too big to fit in the crusher, so I'm gonna sledge it a little bit, turn it into smaller pieces, we'll feed it up, and then we're gonna crush it down to where it's like flour. It's gonna be an absolute powder, and then we'll pan it out and see what we get. It's a pretty day, and uh, we're just gonna sit out here and pan a little bit of dirt and see what we get out of one little rock. All right, I got my PPE here, got my glasses, got my gloves, and you'll notice even in the smallest of tasks now, we have to wear the appropriate equipment to keep us safe. You know, doing this without glasses, without gloves, you're gonna have bloody fingers if a rock goes wrong, or, you know, your eye. I don't wanna sound like that Christmas show. You're gonna put an eye out, son, but you know what? I like two eyes, one isn't that fun, so let's bust this up. Well, now this is the exact same ore that we're selling on eBay. Uh, go on there, look up the Mahoney Mine. I know you can find it. We'll give you a minute. Smart enough now? Good. And uh, this is the exact same stuff that we're sending out there. You know, uh, we can't guarantee what's in it, but sometimes we find some pretty good stuff. Look at that. That's a good looking piece of ore. All right, we got it all broke down. Look at that. Look how yummy that ore is. All that marbling, all of the wonderful quartz that's in it. Let's go ahead and crush this stuff up. That sat all winter and I got it on two pulls. How cool is that? This has got to be one of my favorite things 
is filling up crystal clear water, getting it ready to pan. Radar hanging out with me. Dardar, say hi. He says, nah, I'm not into this. And uh, put a little jet dry in there, and we'll get down to it. Something about just watching the trough fill up and that anxious feeling about what am I going to get. It's kind of like going fishing. You know, sometimes you get a really big one, and sometimes you get skunked. Let's see what we're going to get this time. There we go. We're down to just one pan of ore, and we're going to pan this puppy out. This is the best part. Sitting in the sunshine. Got some little pan of dirt. Kind of feels like all the world's possible. Favorite. Put a little jet dry in here. Make sure we don't float any of the flower gold, and we do have a lot of flower gold. So the first thing I do is do my best to get the heavies on the bottom and pour out on the micro mud there. I'm a little more method methodical than a lot of people that I watch pan. Some of them seem to bump the pan two or three times and then pour half of the dirt out. And you just never know. I always want to be a bit more careful. So the first thing I'm doing is getting all the super fines out that float because I don't want to muck up my water too bad. I said muck up. And that also helps all the heavy settle and all the fines come to the top. Now when I pan, I tilt just a little bit and I roll and get a little, like you can see a little whirlwind thing happening there. And just slowly work the fines. You can see how they're piling up on the other side. And then those have to go. That's all the lights. And we only want to keep the heavies. And see how nice that is at washing them out? And then I'm real careful. Let's keep all those heavies on the bottom. And just slowly work anything that's really fine out the other edge. Now, it doesn't matter. You'll notice some of the bigger things are going first. The reason is that there's a lot more pressure against the water on them they have more mass but they have the same amount of gravity as even the smallest particles so if it's light and it has more mass of course it's going to get moved first and the object is of course in gold panning you want the things with the heaviest mass to go to the bottom and to stay there stay in the pan. That would be gold. Gold is eight times heavier than any other ore. So see how the big stuff is going out because it has more water against it and it's a lighter material. Disturb the heavies hardly at all. You can see the heavies are staying put on there when that little whirlwind's hit. pretty much the heavier minerals and then we'll use a magnet to see how much iron that we can pick out and that really helps to bring it down a whole lot so that we can get closer to rocking it back and seeing the gold. Now, when you get it down far enough, and this is really important as far as I'm concerned, 
turn your pan around, don't use these riffles because you get a lot better action on that little underwater tornado whirlwind thing. Look at the way it's kicking it without those riffles. You don't want anything to disturb it. And that really helps kick it. Look at that big rock going up there. See? It gets a lot better action, I think, if you don't have riffles. And I apologize for the music in the background, but even out here in the middle of nowhere, we get Amazon. Amazon drivers got it. It is always fun work. All right, I think I'll pan the rest of these little lights out of here. So there we go. Not a whole lot, but there's a little bit of gold dust in there. And that's about as good as we're gonna get out of that one rock. Some rocks are a lot better, and that one not so much. So, happy Sunday from the Mahoney Mine. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors. Yeah, some figure a little gold dust in there. That'll work. <laughs>